Now, if you've spent any time researching affordable watches, then there's a very high possibility that you've come across the Vostok Amphibia. Very few watches in the world have a cult following quite like these little Russian dive watches. And for $70, the specs on offer are incredible. So it begs the question, is it too good to be true? Vostok was founded in the Soviet Union, now known as Russia, in 1942. After the war, as defence equipment was no longer the priority, Vostok began focusing more on creating mechanical watches, which became a massive success for the company by the 1960s, producing millions of timepieces per year. In 1965, Vostok was appointed the official supplier of watches for the Ministry of Defence of the Soviet Union, proving that their hard work and no-nonsense design was even fit for combat. Just two years later, in 1967, Vostok released its first ever amphibia dive watch. Vostok's goal at the time was to produce a dive watch that lived up to the capabilities of the Blancpain 50 Favons and the Rolex Submariner, a watch with a compressor case capable of withstanding variations in temperature and, more importantly, withstanding 20 atmospheres of water pressure. The piece's legendary name Amphibia was actually decided by factory workers during a naming contest. It was named after its capabilities of being perfectly durable at land or sea. The models went through vigorous testing to ensure its 200 meters capability were in fact true, and so the first Soviet dive watch was created and released. Now Vostok did actually struggle at first creating the amphibia. Due to many patents by the Swiss and Japanese watch manufacturing industry, Vostok actually had to come up with their own design and way of achieving 200 meters of water resistance in a way that they could actually afford. The most impressive thing about these watches is truly their capabilities. These stainless steel pieces have been tested to water pressures way over the stated 200 meters, which for a $70 watch is incredible. This is down to the unique design Vostok created with its case bags. Opting for a two-piece tightening system which keeps the gasket safe and having a case back twice as thick as most other dive watches. The crystal is also 50% thicker than other dive watches, helping with the water resistance. The use of acrylic for the crystal is also a massive factor in its capabilities. Where a sapphire or mineral glass could crack, plastic crystal simply bends and conforms under pressure. So we know this thing is an absolute beast when it comes to the durability, but what about the movement is that the weak point in the amphibia inside the vostok amphibia is an in-house vostok 2416b a 31 dual 31 hour power reserve hand winding automatic movement with a date complication its accuracy is comparable to seiko entry level movements coming out of the factory at minus 30 to plus 25 seconds a day but usually running a lot better than that the most impressive thing about these movements however isn't the specs for the price it's the fact that vostok recommend these watches can go a full 10 years without a service, truly an incredible feat for such a low cost watch. So on paper then, the Vostok does live up to the height it's got everything that you'd want in a genuine dive watch. It's got great specs, the brand has a great history, and it's great value for money, so great. So now let's say that you've decided that you actually want to try out a Vostok Amphibia. Well, that's where things get a little bit difficult. Like a kid on Christmas, there is so much choice which one do you choose? There are tons of configurations in the Amphibia family, many different case sizes to choose from, different case shapes, different dials, hands, bezels. There is almost an endless amount of variation to choose from, which being honest is a little overwhelming. First, I recommend choosing a case size. Vostok have various sketches and photos comparing case shapes and sizes so that you can decide what would fit you best, all of which come under 50 millimeters lug to lug, which should fit the vast majority of wrists. Once you've picked a case shape, then it's a question of dial. Vostok are famous for their wacky and wonderful designs. Tanks, paratroopers, scuba divers, and tons more. With these darish designs, either jump in or find one that offends you the least. Now it's time to part with your hard earned $70. It's the amphibious turn to travel land, sea, and air from Russia to get to its final destination, your collection. So after waiting around a month, you'll receive a little package in the mail. Covered in Russian text and stamps, it's quite an exciting day. The watch packaging is minimal to say the least, no thrills, 
but the watch does stay protected during transit. So I personally decided to go with the 420 case, which has the smallest wearing dimensions, featuring a 39 millimeter case diameter, a 46 millimeter lug to lug and a 15 millimeter thickness. This one fits my six and a half inch wrist perfect. I went with the Zizou blue dial, mainly because I love the theme of the watch and felt it matched the story of the amphibia perfectly. An anchor, a pirate ship steering wheel and a rope around the edge of the dial. This is one of the more daring designs but I absolutely love it. Now for all the good of the Amphibia, unfortunately, just like every other watch, it does have some downsides. Now pretty much every single Amphibia, all the case sizes, come in at around a 15 millimeter thickness. Now, 15 millimeters isn't ridiculously thick, but it is on the thicker end. Now, that is for a purpose. Of course, there is a thicker crystal, there's a thicker case back those design elements are there to aid the 200 meters water resistance and the durability that the Vostok Amphibia holds. But when you put this thing on a NATO strap, it does go quite large on wrist. Definitely won't be one you're wearing with a shirt. Not that you'd wear it with a shirt anyway, right? It's a little bit less comfortable. You can tell you're wearing it a lot of the time. I know some people don't like that about watches, but then again, I know a lot of people that do like that about watches. Now the bezel isn't a traditional diver's bezel. It isn't 120 click. It isn't even 60 click. It's a complete friction based bezel so it can go bi-directional and it has no clicks it can just go everywhere now i quite like that i don't really use dive bezels to time a dive i don't really use it to time anything the only time i'll ever use a bezel really is to time how long my pizza has been in the oven for so you know realistically the bezel doesn't really make much of a difference to me however one thing i will criticize the bezels for is they're not very nice designs most of the ones that come with the standard watches uh, very boring and quite old-fashioned I'd say. Now you can actually get some aftermarket bezels from the official Vostok website that are a lot nicer. For example you can get like a Pepsi bezel, you can get a 24-hour bezel. Those are a little bit nicer and they are pretty cheap too so it might be worth when you buy your watch, finding a bezel that you like, ordering them together so that you can switch the bezel out yourself. Now the finishing is very utilitarian to say the least. It is completely polished and I don't really like this about my watches. I would much prefer fully brushed finished. However, there's one thing that you can do with your Vostoks and that is you can brush them yourself. There is many tutorials right here on YouTube showing you how you can completely brush a Vostok yourself just with a little bit of sandpaper and a little bit of time and just being careful in certain areas. You can brush the case to the standard that you like. Now, although the movement does have hand winding, it doesn't have hacking or a quick set date. So those are two big downsides to the movement. And of course, this is an old fashioned movement. It's not gonna be up to spec with the, you know, the latest ETAs and myotas and those sort, of, those sort of movements. But for what it is and what it's trying to do, it does it very, very well. And that 10 year service interval is a credit to the movement. I actually recommend that you go for a version of the Amphibia that doesn't have the date because having to scroll through the time so much just to get the date that you're on is a bit of a pain in the ass so I would recommend just getting a no date version and forgetting about what day of the month it is. Some people may see the acrylic crystal as a downside I certainly don't I like the look of acrylic and I like the fact that acrylic can be polished out with some poly wash to get rid of all them scratches I definitely prefer acrylic over mineral crystal of course sapphire is the best but you're not gonna get a full dome sapphire crystal for $70 on a watch. Now when you get your Vostok and you unscrew the crown don't worry the fact that it's wobbly, it's supposed to be like that, it protects the movement, it's a unique design to Vostok. It is a little bit weird, I'll give it to you, can be a little bit of a struggle to kind of set the time and wind it sometimes, but it's just one of those little quirks that you kind of live to enjoy when you own an amphibia. So these watches aren't luxury, they're not high-end, they're not perfect finishing, they're not super detailed, they're utilitarian, they're tool watches but that's what they're good at and they do it really well. So I love this watch for what it is, a quirky, cute little Russian dive watch. Now I don't wear it all the time. I've had it for around a year and it does get occasional wear a couple times a month, but when I do put it on, I do really enjoy it. And I think that it's definitely a watch that everyone should experience. I mean, what have you got to lose, right? You know, if you buy it for $70 and you only wear it a few times, then whoop de doo you know, at least you've had the experience of a Soviet dive watch with a rich history and the capabilities of watches 
many, many times the price. So you can get these watches directly from Russia from the Meronom store, but I actually bought mine off Amazon because it's a very similar price to the Meronom store, except you have that reassurance of dealing with Amazon and you know that they've got your back if something goes wrong. And also they're actually suppliers of them inside the UK, the EU and US where you can get them a little bit quicker. Now of course do some shopping around if you're willing to wait a month, uh, there's only certain models that are available on the Merinon website, then of course make sure you do your shopping, do your due diligence, find the best price for your model and pull the trigger. But I will leave an affiliate link to mine that I got from Amazon down in the description if you're interested in getting the blue Zizu dial. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, drop the video a like and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye bye.